and welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Elise and this is a healthy lifestyle changing journey channel. Blah, 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 blah. And for those that do know me, it's nice to have you back and I hope you all had a lovely Christmas with your families. I know it's been a bit weird this year, but hopefully, hopefully 2021 brings good new things into it, change and more positivity. <laughs> so this is actually the last video of 2020, which is bizarre. I know for so many people this year, it's been very, very difficult and it's come it's come with a lot of challenges. But personally, this, this year's actually been a really good one for me. I've had some fantastic things happen this year. And yeah, I'm really excited for 2021 to come and bring global happiness and hopefully a lot of peace into people's lives. So where do I start? Health update. This week I have not filmed anything at at all, at all. I completely indulged and enjoyed everything about Christmas and I haven't even thought about being healthy at all. <laughs> However, I have actually found this week has made me feel absolutely crap. I've been feeling so ill all week, just like heavy and bloated and it's sick. I think my body's had a really big shock <laughs> to the amount of food that I've eaten and the unhealthiness of that food. <laughs> And I think that it's basically telling me that it's time to stop. <laughs> so on the 2nd of January, I'm gonna do a 24 hour fast. And I'm really excited about it, to be honest. It's meant to be really good for your health and it's almost like a full body detox from what I've heard. It resets all your vitamin levels and stuff. And yeah, it also just wakes your body up. Please comment below if you've got any advice or experience in this, if you've done it before. If you fast at all, just like comment below and say, hey girl, and I'll say, hey girl or boy, and we can have a little chit chat in the comments. A little chit chat in the comments. Hey, I did get away today. It wasn't good, guys. I'm not even gonna address it because I, it, it's, there's, I don't feel any shame about it at all. It was the it was the biggest gain I've ever had, but that's okay. I'm moving forward. I'm not bothered about it. I'm not upset about it because I've I've enjoyed it, and um, that's life, isn't it? I'm not gonna go through life without having junk foods and junk weeks, am I? Like it's life, baby. It's life. There's these there's triggers everywhere. We've got to enjoy them sometimes. Take the step back and carry on moving. So that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Hopefully 2021 is gonna bring amazing things for me. When I started this channel back in July, I said in my very first video that the reason I was starting the, the channel was because I wanted to climb a mountain. It's one of the things on my bucket list and I'm going to do it this year, hopefully. My original plan was to do it in April because at the time that would have only meant I only had like nine months. So it wouldn't have felt like a whole year away. So it was more realistic that I could get there. And now I am gonna push it back and I'm gonna do it in the, in the summer, I believe. I do feel like I, I need longer to train, but I have trust in myself that it's actually gonna happen, which is really exciting. I'm planning on doing Ben Nevis with my family and that is the biggest mountain in the United Kingdom. It's up in Scotland. For Christmas, my family supported massively with my ambitions to climb Ben Nevis. So I will just show you a few of the presents that I got, which are gonna be super helpful on my trip up the mountain. One of the gifts my mum got me was like a little pocket picnic blanket so if I need to sit down on the mountain I've got it this is just gonna be helpful anyway because I do go on a lot of walks and I do like to sit down and take it take it all in you know you got to take it in if you're on a nice walk and you've got some good scenery around you you whip your little blanket out I wasn't meant to do that but I've done it anyway you whip your little blanket out you sit down and you don't get any bugs or anything on you and you keep your bum clean another amazing gift that I've got was a water thing I don't know how you call I don't know what you call these basically you put it in your backpack and then this comes out your backpack and you have water on tap when you need it. So you can just like drink while you're walking so you don't have to stop and get it out of your bag and do all that stuff that I'm doing at the moment. This is gonna be really helpful when I do Ben Nevis. However, I don't wanna drink too much because there isn't any toilets. But with that being said, I have another gift. This is definitely gonna help me if I need the toilet while I'm climbing a mountain. It is a shiwi. <laughs> oh, and it matches my outfit. Shiwi's coming to you soon. It, if you're a woman, it doesn't take much to understand how this works. If you are a man, I'm sure you can understand it too. And I'm definitely gonna use it because, I mean, that's what it's there for. If I need a wee, I'm gonna go for a wee. I'm not gonna be embarrassed about it because it's natural. It's nature, baby. Another gift that I got at Christmas that is good for my mountain climbing experience is Romney's Kendall Mint Cake. Jenny, if you are watching, you bought us some of this when we were a lot younger. And I seem to think it's really sweet and like minty. And it's basically for your energy levels as far as I'm aware. 
um, and proper hikers use it, proper ones. Not not the ones like me that are just climbing a mountain because it's on my bucket list, proper ones. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, in fact, it's probably my favorite thing that I've got out of all my hiking and mountain preparation stuff for Christmas is my brand new hiking sticks. I wanted some hiking sticks for a while um, because obviously it's good for your support and for your posture when you're walking. And I mean, are you really a mountain climber if you don't have these? But yeah, pretty cool. And again, oh my God, they match my outfit. She, we and hiking gear matching my outfit. Mm, 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 yeah. So let's talk a little bit about 2021, what I hope it brings for me, what I hope it brings for you, what I hope it brings in life. And let's talk about life and the bigger picture of stuff. Let's get really deep and let's get really freaky. For real note, in 2021, I'm hoping to continue this journey of change and stuff and my journey isn't just about weight loss as such although i do hope to have a weight loss because that's part of me getting healthy is i do need to lose weight but it's also about a mental journey an emotional journey of change and learning how to appreciate myself. My brother introduced me to somebody on YouTube called Mr. Beast. You probably know him if you're watching my videos. He's a massive YouTuber, you probably heard of him. He recorded some videos years ago and he set to release them every five years. And I've decided I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna record some videos and basically talk about where I hope I am in five, 10, 15 years time and then set them to upload and then times and like look back. If you do YouTube and you like the thought of doing that, you should definitely do it. I really want to be able to look at this video in a year's time and think wow I really did it I really carried on changing I've made changes I've lost more weight for a long time I really had this vision of myself that I wasn't and I really wanted to be and that is all about even like how I express myself in my clothes and stuff I've never felt comfortable enough to wear colors like this and express myself the way that I do now I've always been very insecure and this journey is definitely helping me become less insecure and love myself now while the process is happening I'm learning to love myself in this moment and um, I don't want to look back in in five years time when I've lost weight and be like oh now I love myself because I'm slimmer like that's not how I want to live. I want to be able to love myself now and be comfortable with myself now and be making the changes for the right reasons which is basically for my health and for general happiness and to be able to do things. I have so many ambitions and things that I want to do and yeah part of me being able to achieve those things is by having a healthier mind, a healthier lifestyle and yeah making good positive changes so i can so i can live to my potential if you know what i mean i'm gonna wrap this video up here because i'm rambling to the gods thank you so 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 much for supporting me this year and um, youtube has been an exciting journey i will see you all in 2021 which is so crazy i'm hoping that it brings everybody a lot of peace and love and hopefully a lot of happiness um, and things start to get a bit more positive in the world i'm sending all of my love your way stay happy stay healthy stay funky fresh and don't forget if you don't forget one thing please do not forget to stay groovy <laughs> You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Bye. Is it